the rugby league world is waiting with bated breath to see if at long last Wigan's stranglehold on the trophies can be broken here at Allen Road Leeds today as Bradford Northern take on Wigan in the final of the Regal Trophy but Doughty Cup fighters Wigan, the kings of the Cups, will not relinquish their crown easily. In the last two meetings of these teams, Wigan amassed a tremendous number of points, beating Bradford in the semi-final of the Challenge Cup by 71 points to 10 and thrashing them at Central Park by 50 points to 8. But this season, Bradford Northern are a considerably different team and are having a very good run and a battle away to the final and this afternoon will give Wigan one tremendous struggle. The Wigan team back to form last week when they beat Hull in the preliminary round of the Challenge Cup are still suffering from injuries and suspensions, both their props missing, uh, Skerritt on the suspension and Ian Lucas suffering from a neck injury, but even so, the replacements in the front row, Cowie and Platt, who's reckoned to be the best forward in English rugby at the moment, will be a handful for Bradford Northern. Young Robinson is playing in his first final out on the wing. Wigan, switching over the half-backs, have decided that Botica will be at standoff and Sean Edwards at scrum half. Botica hoping that today he will complete his collection, a full collection of medals, and Sean Edwards, who must have a room full of medals. Bradford, a formidable team, very strong in the forwards, with the new £140,000 signing this season of Derek Fox, will give Wigan a stern test this afternoon. Very strong in the forwards, strong in the centre, so this afternoon all is set for a great final between these two good teams, Bradford and Wigan. And so, Wigan having won the toss, it will be Bradford Northern, coached by one of the best coaches in English rugby, Peter Fox, to face uh, Wigan, coached by the great down on the coach, John Mooney. It will be Bradford from left to right to set this final in motion. Pitch very, very heavy. Conditions bad as Wigan get the first touch of the ball. Billy McGinty charging forward, meets heavy tattling. This is going to be turned stuffed off among the forwards of Wigan. Bring it away well, a good 10 metres gain from the acting halfback. Strong, nasty win this afternoon as Wigan, still with the ball, tight in the forwards. Have come from their own try line to the 30 metre line. And it's still tight in the forwards as Wigan try to make the way through. And the crunching tattle bangs Wigan down. Referee for this afternoon, Holdsworth, John Holdsworth of Kipax. Wigan losing the ball in the tattle. Tattling coming in extremely hard and tough. And I've no doubt it's going to be really bruising among these two sets of forwards. Ball's hanging in the pack, Fox moves it across. And trouble in the forward straight away. Referee giving a penalty, but already forward sorting themselves out We're sorting each other out as the scrum broke up Mr. Kipak, uh, Mr. Holdsworth of Kipak running across the field to where there was an offside decision <laughs> referee both touch judges came running on Sorted out the melee. John Oldsworth having a long word with the touch judge on the far side. Players looking anxiously to see what's going to be said. Are we going to have anybody off? And it's a penalty to Wigan. Touch judge intervention as Wigan came through. Not happy with what happened as they were coming through. And so the first kick for touch, penalty kick, is Wigan's. Sure kick, finds touch, 10 yards, inside Northern's half. Wigan still in possession with the six tattles to come. Northern line up very flat, nearly an intercept there as Wigan lobbed that ball across the field. 
Northern are coming out onto them very quickly and Wigan keeping the ball tight round the play of the ball. It's one man at a time rugby at the moment as he tried to settle down to Edwards. Edwards trying to get the line moving on to Bell. Bell turning inside is well tattled just short of the 20 metre line. Dennis Betts going through from acting half back. Fights his way forward, a good three metres, goes down in the fifth tattle. Wigan gonna have a ploy as it comes to Edwards. Edwards holding it, throws a pass out, it's gone loose. And it comes to Northern and Northern half possession. The Wigan player flat out in the 20 metre area. Northern now gonna have to battle away forward, coming away strongly. Wigan player still on the floor, and that's tremendous clearing play. Northern going to play it hard in the forwards, I would imagine. That's where the strength is. And Wigan penalised in the tattle. And so it's one penalty each. Right in the middle of the field. Touch judge marks it. Seven or eight yards just short of the halfway line. Lip Clark limping as he comes back into the play. And here come the Bradford heavyweights. The tanks barging the way over the halfway line. And there's a lost ball. That should be Wiggins. Forward coming through. Couldn't take it cleanly. Back to one as Wigan move it out. Trying to get it out to this fire wing. Bottica trying to go down the middle. Makes a little jink, a little break. Dennis Betts coming over to act in half back. Bart's going on his own. Tremendous run by Dennis Betts, gained a lot of ground. Edwards up to acting half back. Edwards having a run himself, seen a break, and then he's gone for the line. And they couldn't get with him. That was a lovely break by Edwards there. Cut through beautifully. And it's Wigan hot on the attack as he move it wide out to the left. Trying to crash the way forward with the northern defence holding very, very solid. A quick play of the ball. Edwards. Kick over towards the wing and they're underneath it, the ball's gone loose and it's Northern who have possession, five metres out. That ball hung in the air in the wind. Players having to come back nine, ten metres now, giving the people with the ball a little more space. And Wigan quickly round up to play the ball, did enough to take the act in half back. <laughs> and this is very tense and torrid. A bit of a fumble behind the play of the ball, referee lets it go, said the ball went backwards as Northern groveled away out of their own 20 metres, now moving the ball across the field, coming onto it very hard and strong, that's good forward play and a quick play of the ball. Northern now moving it out onto the left wing and Wigan are in quickly trying to push them over the touchline but they managed to stay in play and that's five tattles gone. Poor play of the ball, it's lobbed inside. Kicks been charged down! Oh, the other Northern line, his ankles were tapped from behind. Wigan almost through then. Quick charge down by Wigan now, trying to force the way over and it's all Wigan in these opening minutes doing the attacking. Down on the 20 metre line. Wigan trying to crash the way forward and defence desperately tattling. A fire's come up behind the play of the ball, moves it inside. Dennis Betts running strongly, goes down 10 metres out, almost in front of the post. Edwards holding it, short pass. Wigan still trying to crash the way through, go down in the fifth tattle. On to Edwards. Edwards a long pass. Wigan Hell can't get the final one, it goes out to Rob Robinson, Robinson on his feet. Referee said it's back to one. Wigan still hot on the attack as Wigan regained possession. Wigan driving hard at the line and they held a metre short. Well, Wigan and Northern look yards offside there. The ball's no, long pass. Wigan falls back into the middle, Betts still going, feet taken from under him, gets up again, keeping the ball moving, ball's on the floor, comes back. Northerns read that very well, came out quickly, came out hard, buried the Wigan attackers. But Wigan piling on a lot of pressure, Bodiger going back inside, dancing, jinking his way, still on his feet, keeping the ball moving. And good tattling, but Wigan forcing the way back again up to the 20-metre line. All this tattling going to tell its toll eventually as Edwards makes a break, going for the line, and he couldn't get his pass out. Looking a real menace this afternoon.
Wigan moving it out to the right, put in a little grubber kick, and the court in the in goal area. Going to be referee having a close look at it. Wigan coming back, it's probably, I don't know, it's a penalty given in the tattle. I think the referee's awarded a penalty to Bradford Northern right on their own try line. Wigan were following the kick through. Referee stopping the clock. Well, Wigan have had a tremendous period of pressure. Northern hardly been out of their own uh, 20 meter area, but we saw this with Castleford. Castleford attacked and attacked, and then eventually it was uh, Northern who scored. So it's a tap inside the 20 meters. Powell forcing his way forward, having Powell having moved up into the front row. Short pass to play the ball, coming on to it hard. Wigan going in, hunting as a pack, holding them there. Very little ground being gained. And Wigan penalised it to play the ball. Referee not out, wanting them further back. Oh, this should uh, bring a bit of relief to Northern, who've defended well. Wigan have thrown everything but the kitchen sink at them. And the substitution being made. And Clark, who got hurt earlier on, has gone off. Pan up and line of the Wigan subs, can't quite see at the moment uh, who came on. And it's Northern on the halfway line, and Wigan hitting them hard. Well, that'll be a blow to Wigan losing Philip Clark. He got a badly injured, looked like a leg earlier on, and here comes Wigan coming in hard, can't put the men down. That determined, powerful running. Northern now moving the ball across field, a long, long pass. Wigan cover across, stitch it up, as the looks in the gap, but the Wigan right wing covered well. Simpson coming through well from acting half back, and now Northern are in a good attacking position here. They go, ch ball's been dropped, Wigan pick it up. Loose play by Northern, bad handling, that's twice the forwards have made a mistake. Wigan coming away well from the play of the ball, a good ten yards of ground gain. And Dermot coming up, he has Edwards very close, doesn't give it to Edwards. And the referee says it was a forward pass. Wigan not happy with that, They're keeping it very close, they were very close to the acting half-back. And the Wigan trainer is on the field again. And it uh, should be Fox. It's Powell who's been receiving treatment. Fox to feed. Fox gets it out, out to Summers. Summers holding it, jumping with it. Nearly makes a break. We're going to hang on to him and bury him. McGowan from behind the play of the ball. Bradford keeping the ball moving well. There's a gap down the middle and Wigan stitch it up. And this is torrid football, coming away well from behind the play of the ball. A lot of space in which to move. Northern coming up. Fox, the prompter, Fox going acting half-back. Now he's moved out into the general play. But he's not, and it's tight him on the forwards. They come charging at the Wigan line, trying to keep the ball moving, and they're in! Referee says forward pass as they were going over the line. Bit of a let-off for Wigan, that was a nice move there among the forwards. Nicely slipped pass, and Wigan under a lot of pressure at that moment there, back in their own 20 metre zone. And the game held up for attention again. Players, the ferocity of the tattle in taking its toll on these players. Clark off injured. Powell needing attention. Bottica now needing attention. Bot Wig Bottica, Wigan scoring machine, back on his feet. Edward feeds, it shoots out the Wigan side. Wigan passing the ball dangerously in their own 20 meter area. Hampson linking up with the Wigan trying to bring it away from behind the play of the ball, clearing the 20 meter line.
Oh, great running by Wigan, tremendous play, almost up to the halfway line. Quick play the ball, uh, Wigan going through well, keeping it going, they can't keep it out, does he? And they're still going up the 20-metre line. Fire turning and twisting, gets rid of the ball, Wigan turning it on, they've a big overlap out on the right, if he can keep it going, and the tackling is sound and solid. And Wigan are held up, but Wigan would not die with that ball then. And once again, they're back on the, in the northern 20-metre area. And one wonders how long they can stand this relentless attacking as Wigan switch direction back out the right wing. Lit a high one near the try line. Beautifully jumped and taken by the fullback. Came in well then. Now it's northern in possession. This is the most exciting cup final, and that's lovely tattling. One low, one upstairs, and player buried with the ball. Coming away well from acting half back, and that's a crunching tattle. Northern coming away well, trying to dummy the way through. Wigan not buying it. Five tattles gone. Hampson's retreating. It's flung back for the kick. There it comes. Hampson watching it carefully, takes it beautifully, 20 metres out. Lovely handler of a ball, sidesteps his way inside, he's still going over the halfway line. Good run by Hampson. Dermot coming over, little bit Harris behind the play of the ball, Wigan going down the middle. Wigan, Wigan going down the middle again. Northern creeping into the Wigan line now, trying to stop the ball getting out to a fire on this wing. And it's out to the left, they come again. On to Dennis Betts, Betts trying to force his way forward. Tight from behind the play of the ball, Wigan still struggling. A Dermot comes over. On to Edwards, Edwards holding it. Short pass. Wigan trying to crash the way through, have lost possession. Referee says play on as it goes to Northern. Wigan lost the ball in the tattle. Northern trying to bring it away, 10 metres out. Wigan move up into the line out. Forcing them back into the middle. Acting half back, a good seven or eight metres. Clears his 20 metre line, coming away well from behind the play of the ball. Coming away quickly and smartly. Long loping pass out to the left centre, can't get it out to Simpson. Anderson caught in possession, St still just outside the 20 metre short pass to the forward, turns it well inside. Northern keeping the ball moving well. Five tackles gone as Simpson comes up behind the play of the ball. Lobs it across, kick behind the defence. Hampson's there, doesn't trap it cleanly, takes it the second attempt. Hands it on, Robinson so hard to tattle, Hampson coming up to act in half-back, lobs it inside. Defence is on top so far in this game. Wigan line very close at the play of the ball, the first pass is a very short one. Edwards trying to go down the middle, puts his head in. Trying to bore his way through as Dermot comes up from behind to play the ball. Dermot, short one. Wigan playing it tight in the forwards. Remorselessly forcing the way down the field. Die with it in the fifth tattle. On to Edwards. Edwards for the kick. Hoist a high one. Watson take. No, it's not Watson. It, and he's missed by Martin. Wigan should score here. They keep him play, but he rolls into touch. And the, the touch judge is signalling that it's Wigan's put in. Well, that was a bad take there. Marchand couldn't take it cleanly. Ball rolled away from him. And it's Edwards to put it in, 10 metres out. Edwards' ball out to Bottica, to Hampson. Hampson running at them, trying to run through them, but good tattling puts him down. Edwards handing it on, Wigan tried, oh, tried to go without the ball and lost it. Little bit of over-eagerness there, laps in handling. 
Northern still in their own 20 meter area. They're having to work terribly hard this afternoon. Coming cross field and nothing gained. They run right back almost to the last play of the ball. Coming around the narrow side. Good tattling by Wigan. Good sound, solid, safe tattling. Long, long pass, that's open the Wigan defence, they go across, and the gaps appeared as they streak towards the Wigan line, great running by Bradford. And the cut out there, but that's a lovely break by Bradford. And the hot on the attack here as they move the ball across. Gaps open up, Wigan's desperate here as it's all at Northern at the moment. Wigan still backpedalling as they try to go through from the play of the ball, stretching it out, out onto the Simpson wing, and the Wigan defence has had time to regroup. And the referee says that's the last tattle, Wigan to bring it away, and they are bringing it away well from behind the play of the ball. Well, that was a lovely clean break by Bradford there, really menacing. After all, Wigan's hard work, and now Bell gaining valuable yards of ground as Dermot comes up. Dermot from behind the play of the ball onto Betts. Betts powering his way forward. To McGinty, Billy McGinty straightening up. Meets these big, hefty, powerful forwards. Wigan going through from the play of the ball. Keeping the ball, man, it's been dropped. Referee says it went back. Wigan's handling suspect a little, and once again they made a mess of it. Referee says play on as Edwards puts his kick in at the second attempt. Watson going back for it. And good solid tattling, but he's managed to, he's managed to stay in play. Once again, Bradford back. Oh, Britain break almost on, they're coming onto the ball well at the Northern Pack. Handling difficult this afternoon in this wind. Ball's been dropped, Hampson picks it up. Can he keep it moving, looking for support? Wigan going down the middle, the cover is there, both sides. Losing possession at vital moments, Wigan now from behind the play of the ball. Playing it safe. And this is going to be no 70 points run away. Dermot whips it back inside. On to Betts. Betts decides he's going to go down the middle. Wigan going out wide. Wigan had a bulk of territory, but no points on the board yet as Edwards tries to go through on his own. Balls loose. And it's Northern who get it, Wigan lost the ball again in the tattle. This game going from side to side, ebbing and flowing, players are losing possession. Northern on their own 20 metre line. And there's no quarter being asked for and none given as the two sides are playing real cup final stuff. It turned nicely inside back to Powell. Now arms go round him and lock him and he can't get shot. But Northern playing good football this afternoon and there comes the kick. A long one. It's going to roll over the dead ball line. Hampson Shepherds it. Doesn't go. He has to run it out. It stopped inches off the dead ball line. Hampson almost up to the 20 metre line. A fire is with him. A fire moves it inside, doing the run around, back to a fire. Fire trying to go down the middle. It's put down on Wigan's 20 metre line. Wigan bringing it away from acting half back, coming well down the field. And Edwards is lying very, very flat, but it's not him who gets it. And that's a crunching tattle. That was a determined tattle as they came in hard, and Wigan still meeting them, trying to come down the middle of the field, almost up to the halfway line. Die with it on the fifth tattle, flung back to Edwards. Edwards puts a kick through in the cross field, but Watson's coming across for it, and it bounces nicely for him. The Wigan line of defenders is up there. Watson gets away from them well. He ran across field, he broke through beautifully, and that's a high tattle. Wigan have got away, he's still going. The ball's loose and Wigan get the possession. Well, that was a tremendous run. And the referee penalising the high tattle which Wigan made earlier on.
Referee played the advantage and he's taken Wigan, taken play back to right in the middle of the field, just inside the northern half. And uh, Wigan paid the price for that height, and that was a tremendous run from Watson at fullback. Glorious run. As we come up to the 25 minutes mark in this first half, and still no score. And it's Northern whose tails must be up now. They're having a good game, they're having a good final. They've not had a lot of territory, but they've made, they've made real dents in this Wigan defence and they've split them very cleanly several times. They'll switch round to play the ball and Wigan, a little bit lax, probably missing uh, Philip Clark around to play the balls for the defence. Acting half back, forcing his way forward, a Powell coming over. Northern looking eager to get on with it, and Wigan having a job pulling the men down. There's a lot of force and a lot of drive coming from Northern now in the Wigan 20 metres, and they're trying to batter the way through 10 metres out. Northern hot on the attack now, moving it, switch back into the middle, short pass, Wigan holding on the line. Six tattles gone, says the referee. Wigan going to have to fight to it. That was great attacking play by Northern. They hammered away at the Wigan line and were held only a metre short. Now Wigan coming away, Robinson having a run from acting halfback, almost up to the 20-metre line, and we've really got a final on our hands as the Wigan forwards battle away. War of attrition here among these forwards as they turn back inside and Northern giving it all they've got in defence. Wigan finding it difficult to crack them. The Northern defence holding very, very sound, very solid. It comes to Edwards, not a good pass. Manages to get his kiss in, kick in. Goes across feed, rolling away from Marchant. Marchant picks it up. Goes cross field and is well tattled, beautifully tattled. Wigan are in to take the act in half back. That's two good tattles by Wigan. As Northern go back slowly, they're not going back with any enthusiasm. And Wigan have got in three quick tattles there. As there were no forwards back, now the ball's lobbed across the field. And Wigan holding Northern down, pinning them back down there. Ball long, wide pass out to. Anderson at left centre, and that's five tattles gone, and they've not gained an inch. That's been good defensive play by Wigan. Ball's flung back for the kick. Hastily taken. Anderson takes it cleanly. He's on his own as he comes up to the halfway line. Quite happy to die with it. Quick play of the ball out to Robinson. Robinson having a run, running cross field. Feet are taken from under him. He doesn't gain anything at all. Wigan coming round this narrow side, he had to juggle with the ball there, Farrah having a problem with it, he buried a fire coming up to act in half-back, onto McGinty, begin to use him, a fire as a fall, doesn't give it back to him, gone in, Dermot waiting behind the play of the ball, Dermot to Edwards, Edwards holding it, Edwards straightening up, puts his head down, and dies with it in the fifth tattle, so Wigan have got a tattler on hand, uh, a kicker on hand, and Botica who decided he's going to hoist a high one and it looks a very long one and it's going to go dead so we're back to the 20 metre zone back to the 20 metre line 12 minutes still left in this first half and the real cracks have come from Northern Northern made the better gaps almost on again and they're still going through they made the cleaner breaks Wigan have done the attacking but have not managed to get points on the board Northern giving as good as they're getting, if not better. Short pass, Wigan desperately rushing back to try and take the man. Northern coming onto the ball well, moving it well, handling it well. Powell tries to come through. Ten metres inside the Wigan half, right in the middle of the field. Acting half back, allowed to run a long way before he's put down, and down he goes in the fifth tackle. Nasty kick here for Hampson, it's going over the dead ball line, straight over the dead ball line. 
very strong wind blowing here at the moment. I feel it. It's uh, in Northern's favour as Wigan coming away from the top. Still going. Bradford moving in quickly. Making it hard for Wigan to start off. They've been taken before they can get into the stride. Wigan keeping it close in the middle of the field. It's not reaching the wingmen from passing movement. And forced back into the middle and it's lobbed. Wigan lucky still to have possession from that. McGinty still taking them with him. Put down in the fifth tackle. Edwards waiting very, very close to the play of the ball. Puts in a little grubber kick there. He's chasing it well. Watson takes it cleanly. Watson coming away again, he's having a tremendous game and he's still going, having a great game from fullback, causing havoc in the Wigan defenders. Northern surged down the field again. Northern moving the ball well across the field and lost a lot of ground there and dropped the ball as they're going down. Fitness could well provide the answer eventually to this game. A fire going across to the middle of the field, hoping to link up. Wigan made a switch of positions here. Hansen's come out onto the wing, a fire's at full back, ball sticking in the pack. A fire's there in the middle of the field, he takes it, trying to go around them. And his ankles are taken from under him. Great roar from the Northern supporters. Wigan moving it inside. No room to get into their attack. And it's Wigan who are going back a little bit reluctantly. And they shouldn't be. They've got possession. And finding it hard to gain territory. Punch very close in the middle as Dennis Betts decides he can use his strength and his speed. Good tattling by both sides, that's five tattles gone as it comes to Edwards, Edwards hoists the high one. It's an awkward bouncing ball, it goes up in the air, ball's loose, it's flight kicking into touch. Well, that ball shot to where Wigan were well under it, it bounced awkwardly for Watson, he no, not much chance with that. Wigan tried to hack it on and it uh, skidded off and into touch, and so it will be Fox to feed. Ten metres out from his own line. Fox feeds, and Edwards nails him round the scrum, round very, very quickly. And it's Edwards who's up first. Botica can't get to his man, there was a good break there by Northern. And a knock-on behind the play of the ball gives Wigan another chance of possession here. They'll be very, very eager to get points on the board just before half-time, and it will be Edwards to feed. Edwards coming round the scrum from the Bradford side, puts it in, hanging in the pack to Botica, but Hansen coming through on the burst, can Wigan get it moving? And the ball's been intercepted, Wigan couldn't get that final pass out, the gap was made, but Northern regained possession and now we'll get the attrition stuff as Simpson comes in, almost through. Well, Wigan made the gap there from the scrum, couldn't capitalise on it, and Northern clearing the lines well, bringing it away. And Wigan carrying Northern back, they managed to get the pass in, he didn't put the man down. Northern in their own half, moving the ball well across the line, turn it back into the middle. And... Playing with real fire in the bellies, Northern now, as they go down in the fifth tackle, kick through. It's going to find touch, finds touch, five metres from the corner flag. So it'll be Wigan push back into the... They've not been down here a lot, but when they have come down, Northern have looked menacing. And so Wigan, ten metres out from their own line, have it all to do now. 
as we come to about six, seven minutes from half time. Edwards to feed. Edwards taking it, holds it, plays it sensibly, giving his team time to recover. Oh, and that was nearly an intercept ball, was knocked down, so we'll be back to one as we can come away well. Referee signals, we're back to one as we can... Bell. Bell coming away strongly. And the referee... Says it's a knock-on. Crowd grown. Fox with it. On to Simpson, who's linked up. Simpson trying to come through. Wigan hanging on to him. Forwards heaving the way forward, let the ball go, and they've lost a bit of ground. And it's back to one, says the referee. Wigan couldn't take that ball as it went up high in the air, acting half back, fighting his way forward. And it's all northern at the moment as they come hammering away, and the 10 metres out from the Wigan line. Can Wigan hold it till half time? They move the ball and there's a big gap there. They go for the line and the ball's been lost and Wigan have it. Referee will give the knock on, I think, with Wigan to feed. With 10 metres out and Wigan under a lot of strain at the moment. The Edwards to feed. I would imagine if he gets it, he'll, he'll want to bring it away safely. In other hands. Edwards with it. No, oh, gives a one pass. Wigan, ten metres out. Acting half back. Good ten metres, twelve metres gain. Good clearing run. And it's tight in the forwards as they play it safe. They're coming away from the danger zone. Straight down the middle, good running. And again, from behind the play, the ball. Cowie turning and twisting, managed to get the ball back inside. The gap appears. Wigan can't get it out to that right wing. And the five tassels gone as they take it into the northern half. Edwards with it. Edwards puts a kick in over towards this corner. Watson takes it beautifully. Watson coming hard. Having a tremendous game, and Wigan can't put him down. Having a great game at fullback. Wigan forcing them cross field. Northern still in their own half. Wigan moving up. Feet are taken from under him. Overhead kick, Hampson having to go back for it. Bounces away from him. Awkward ball, he takes it cleanly. Can't get away from the Tatler. And we're going to back on their own try line. Up to... And coming away well. From the acting half by great run in by Robinson. And he's made the break, he has support. Wigan tearing down the field, can they get it out to the wing? Going for the line and the court from behind. Well, Robinson set that up beautifully. And a fire's across there, but they couldn't get the ball to him. A fire moves it inside and right on half time. Wigan going for the line! And they help two yards out and it's a fire who's up there attacking half back. Moves it inside, can we can turn it into Pont? There's a big overlap if they can keep it moving. And they decide they're going to go down the middle. There was a tremendous gap out here on this left wing, but it didn't come. Wigan trying to go from close to the line. Are they going to try a drop goal or right underneath the post? Edwards holding it, Edwards puts in the grubber kick and it's kicked out to Wigan, Wigan should have possession, back to one, outside the 20 metres, onto a fire, 
Fire with the run, the fire's still going. Hands in, we can turn inside. And they're in. They're in. Robinson. Robinson's in. Right on half time. Set up by a fire. Did extremely well. Edwards caused the damage originally right underneath the pulse. Put a little grubber kick in. He was almost to it. And in despair, Northern belted at the ball out. Wigan picked it up just outside the 20 metres. The fire went beautifully down. And Robinson, who's made a couple of good runs just on half time, manages to get points on the board for Wigan. And by God, they've had to fight hard for those. Wind is blowing hard into our faces here. In fact, we're very, very high up. We're so high up that they've made us wear builders' helmets. We were having to wear hard hats up here. And they need them out there because it's been a hard, hard game. Botica now scored some great goals this season. Comes up, he hits it, he lifts it high. The wind holds it, and it's over! A great kick by Botica. Right on the stroke of half-time. Well, that will be a big boost for Wigan. Been a couple of stoppages, so we'll probably have a certain amount of injury time. Northern nil, Wigan six, and this is an all 70 points game. Um, ball hanging in the air, it's an awkward one. We can do well to take it, they'll be happy to hang on to this I would think till half time and yet you never know with Wigan coming through from acting half back perhaps stick it up the jumpers referee go having a look see what's happening in the tattle Dermot waiting behind the play of the ball out Edwards hands it on Wigan decide to go down the middle Pitch badly churned up from the soccer that's been played on here. Dermot hands it on round the narrow side and the Wigan forward and lost possession. Snatched up by Northern. Back to one, says the referee, as Wigan lost that coming through. And a run from acting half back. Wigan hold them right on the halfway line. That's two tattles gone. Northern not making much progress at the moment. Wigan holding them right on the halfway line. Nothing gained as they move the ball across the halfway line. Powell coming hard and straight. And that's a good run before he's dragged down. Wigan. And Wigan open the mouth. They're going to get two points away here. Referee had penalised Wigan. But I think they'll kick for goal. Chance to pull two points back here, right on half-time. Wigan were accused of lying on, referee blue, and somebody opened his mouth. Ill-discipline from Wigan could well give Hobbs a chance to pull two points back before half-time, and that was a, a vital lead that Wigan had there, and uh, they made a mistake by losing the ball in the tattle. And from the resultant play, Little bit of ill-discipline crept in. Hobbs then, slightly to the right of the post, a good kicker of the ball. A lot of noise all the way around the ground, heavily packed at that end, stabs at it, and it's there, two points pull back, Northern two, Wigan six, and there goes the Hooter for half time, and that shows you, with seconds to spare, Wigan have given Northern two point two points, which they deserve. They played some good football, and Wigan have had territorial advantage, and they probably just deserve to be four points in front. Half time then, Northern two, Wigan six. With only one point in it here, with only four points in it then, one try difference. Wigan, Hampson kicking off deep into the in-goal area. Wigan's wind slightly in the favour of this, how strong wind it's blown 
very much across the field into our faces here as Northern in the forward having to grow up for it from acting half back did well to take that and come away with it Northern going across the halfway line being forced back into the middle still on the feet shown a lot of determination they're playing with a lot of fire and a lot of fervor Hobbs belts it down the field good kick by Hobbs pushes Wigan back 10 meters into their own half but it should be Wigan to feed players not exactly dashing to get in position for this as Edwards to feed and Edwards gets it out of fires coming midfield can't get it to him trying to come down the middle the fire's still with him still fighting the way forward and it's a fire who's coming right from the wing from acting half back moving it on Bell charging forward and we've still got a fire at acting half back going out to his wing and he of course can't be there as he's already coming to the middle Wigan surging down that left wing coming on to it purposefully out to Edwards Edwards holding it passing it behind the forwards Dermot now trying to get his team moving on to Edwards Edwards moving it across Wigan turn it back inside Bodega hands it on Wigan forcing the way up still over the 25 line go down in the last tattle Wigan moving it out little grubber kick put through been knocked on over the line and a fire dives on it the referee giving it under the pulse said it had been made dead and a fire was right over on this wing as a mistake was made in the in goal area so they have to give Wigan possession back but that was almost a try for Wigan Wigan with it then on the 20 meter line battering away at the line taking them with him five meters out Edwards waiting first pass gets it Wigan moving it along the line coming hard on the burst can't get it moved inside Wigan crash bang tactics at the moment Northern stick, sticking up to it well as Dermot comes over Dermot a long pass Edwards turns it back inside and Wigan can't break this defence as they go down in the fifth tattle going from the line back inside Edwards can he run he's over he's over followed him well his arms look nine metres long short pass from Edwards took it on the return and his arm went out and it looked like a great big crane as he went stretching out over the line three minutes of this half gone Edwards there as ever right in the thick of things makes it now ten points to two Botica stabs at it and it's there 12 points to 2 Wigan with a 10 point lead now can and Anderson and Noble are going off so we will have uh, Mumbe and Clark coming on Wigan now with a good cushion 12 points to 2 Wigan got to bring it away now that will have given them a lot of new heart as they struggled in the first half and a quick try ball played forward that's good play as Wigan come tearing away and another Bradford player down on his knees is the strain beginning to tell a bit Wigan almost up to the halfway line Wild pass rolls along the floor, Botica manages to take it. Wigan turning it back inside, fighting the way up. Almost up to that, right in the centre of the pitch. 
The referee, is he giving the penalty or a scrum? Looks as if Wigan lost it, as if we're getting up to play the ball, the wind must be very fierce out there, very, very cold, making handling difficult, and it will be Fox. Fox the feed, gets it out, on to Summers, Summers a wide pass. Wigan forcing the attackers back into the middle, back to the defenders as they break up from the scrum. Slow play the ball, he had to re go forward to reach it, trying to come hard on attack, and Wigan having none of it. Dean Bell tattling so safely. Ball on. Northern lost a bit of ground there as they moved the ball across the field. It was pretty well anywhere, not too organised. Powell comes surging down the middle. And this game is still torrid out there in the middle. Bradford keeping the ball moving very well, coming up the 20 metre line. Go down in the fifth tackle, but they're playing some good football, Bradford. Some attractive football. The ball goes along the line, and Wigan is stretching and get it out to the wing. A fire going across, hanging up to his man, and that's the last tackle. So it'll be a handover. Desperate tackling by Wigan near their own line. Well, Bradford. Turned and twisted, and they stretch Wigan across the field. Wigan now getting on with the game. But it's uh, Bradford who have the ball. Powell going hard at the Wigan line. All Bradford at the moment as they pile on the pressure. Wigan are being stretched as they come inside. And the Wigan defence, solid as ever, a great defence, except for the game against St. Ellen. It's holding at the moment, the ball's lobbed, and there's a big overlap, but the ball rolls along the ground. And Bradford have lost a lot of territory there. They're still in possession on the 20-metre line, trying to force it hard down that right wing, kick behind the defence. And it's touching goal, and under the post, Hampson having to bang it over the touchline, so Wigan having to give it out and give it back. And it looks if Leiden is coming on for a fire, I think it is, who's hurt. A fire having to go off, Leiden coming on to the left wing. Holding his shoulder again. Oh, Wigan without a fire. Great cheer goes up from the non-Wigan spectators. As a fire goes off once more, holding this damaged shoulder of his. Wigan drop out, try a deep one, up to the halfway line, taken cleanly. Wigan having to withstand another battering of six tattles. Northern coming on to it close. Fighting the way for every inch. One man at a time, he kept that moving well. Wigan coming in, hunting together, encircling them, forcing them down to the ground. Northern keeping it, balls loose. Referee says it's Wigan's ball on their own 20 metre line. Bit of slack play by Northern there. Wigan will probably steady it down here. Coming away well from that play of the ball. Edwards waiting first pass, and it's Edwards who gets it, handing it on safely. Wigan still fighting for every inch, pushing the way forward. Billy McGinty coming away, Dermot moving it on, handing it on well. On to Robinson, he's fell as he gets it, good clean tackle, Bell moving it inside, high up and under, oh that's an awkward one, as Leiden take, and he can't take it clean and he's pulled down, balls in, in the in goal area, and referee deciding that uh, a handover as Wigan and knocks the ball forward, giving the ground, Wigan, all at sixes and sevens on the far wing, they're all over on this side of the field. Nobody out on the left wing, and that's the way the ball's going, that's the way the attack's going as they're stretching Wigan. And Wigan managed to hold them in time. 
And now the defence is regrouped. Northern moving the ball and finding it difficult to make any sort of forward progress at all at the moment. It comes out to Fox. Fox handing it on. Wigan moving in, taking the man and ball. Acting half back, a lot of space in which to move, turns it back into the middle, and a crunching tattle puts them down in the last one. As Fox comes over, Fox hands it on. Hobbs putting the kick in. Wigan going back, it's going to push them into the own 20 metre zone. That was a good tactical kick. kick. A lot of power in this uh, Northern pack as they get down. They could well push Wigan off the ball. To Wigan not got the usual number eight. Cowie, a good forward. He's had some good games this season, but uh, Wigan missing Lucas and uh, Scarrett from the front row. They put Edwards back to scrum half, and I think this is partly for the feeding rather than Botica. He gets it out. Wigan would probably keep it tight here from the scrum. Right in front of their own posts. Dancing the way out of the 25. Coming round the narrow side. Ball safe, tucked up the jumper. Martin Dermott coming away well from behind the play. The ball gives a dummy. Oh, Munders by Tattle. Nearly had his head taken off there. Martin Dermott flat on the floor. Wigan trainer with a... Wigan take a quick tap penalty, running it out, Joe Lydon, a big game man. Platt, surging forward, terribly hard to hold, Dennis Betts is up there and he's having a go now, ankles are taken, there was support with him but he couldn't get it out. Wigan moving inside, and the Wigan forwards playing this game very hard and very safe into the 20 metre zone. Wigan nobody out on the left wing, they move it to the right as Edwards turns it inside. Botica, Botica goes down, fifth tattle, nobody to take a drop kick. Wigan moving it out, long pass, and the court in, lost the possession, been taken off him. Northern with it then. Wigan pedalling across, they turn it back inside. Fortunate for Wigan, a very, very light out on the left wing. Northern decide they're going to come down the middle, and Powell, they can't get him down. Good running. Fox handing it on. Wigan move in. Smother them there as they come in from the left wing. Northern coming down the middle, well tackled in the fifth tackle, almost up to the halfway line. That's it, a Wigan player. Ball's coming back to Wigan. Wigan got the possession. Referee lets it go as Wigan handed on, and that's a crunching tackle, but Wigan still have possession. Northern coming in quickly, a great roll goes from the crowd, the ball's kicked through at the play of the ball, that should be back to one, as Hampson runs it out. And Wigan looking a little bit like it. Daisical at the moment, they come down the middle now, they're not too organised at the moment. Withstood an awful lot of hammering there, Billy McGinty gains a lot of precious yards. Wigan moving it out, back down the middle, the gap's there, and it's sealed. Almost through then, Wigan still persisting down this right wing, Dennis Betts going back down the middle, can't get rid of the ball, goes down in the fifth tattle, on the 20 metre line. Edwards puts a little grubber kick in, up quickly, takes his man, Puts Wigan now in a sound attacking position, but Northern are coming away well from behind to play the ball. Northern then 10 metres, 12 metres out. And this game is still hard and fast and furious. Hanson line right up, now he's starting to retreat. 
as the ball spread across the field. Robinson comes in well, and he's hurt in the... T no, it wasn't Robinson, the Wigan player hurt in the tattle. Robinson hurt as he came in field there. He's flat out. Wigan with both the substitutes on. Could well be reduced to 12 men as the kick comes behind the Wigan defence. It's not down and taken cleanly. Wigan stretching it across the field now. Going down. And Wigan going for the line. And the court from behind. But that was a great surging run. Wigan hot on the attack. Referee saying play quickly. As Wigan now going hard at the line. Well, that was desperate last ditch, tattling stuff, great cover. Wigan now hot on the attack, good attacking position. It comes to Edwards doing the run around. Um, Wigan still trying to do it the hard way, trying to crash the way through. Trying to go through from the play, the ball, and the hell right underneath the post. Well, this could be the nail in the coffin if Wigan can score here. And they can't get the ball out. Last tattle gone. Are they going to try a drop goal? Flung back. Drop goal taken. And it's there. Hampson drops a goal. 13 points to two. Very important one, that. Stretches Wigan lead to 11 points. Almost halfway through this second half. Well, the pressure paid off eventually. Hampson well lined up for that kick, an important kick. Perhaps Wigan's fitness could tell at the end. not yielding at all Betts keeping it moving Wigan Heller, some good tattling going on and I think Summers is going off as the ball goes to Edwards Edwards stabs at that because there's a strong win now that comes to Watson Watson who's played so well gets away can't Gets out of a tattle, he's having a great game, he's still going, still on his feet. Well, that was a great run by Watson. The Wigan line went up, but they couldn't take him. And he's had a tremendous game at fullback. Ball tucked up the jumpers, Wigan. Ball's gone loose, that should be Wiggins. Getting it moving out to the left. They decide they're going to come down the middle and they're buried. And there'll be a lot of bruised bodies tomorrow. This has been a hard, tough game of rugby. A clean game, even a very clean game. Wigan coming through from acting half back. Nearly all the game been played in and around this northern 20 metre zone. Wigan so well organised as Dennis Betts taking them with him, still on his feet. Wigan moving it across, going tight, the ball's on the floor. And it's Northern who come up with it. A stray pass from Wigan. Wigan holding Northern down at this end, that end, the northern end of the ground. Wigan with an 11 points lead. Northern go back to where the last, and that was rather an effective play. Ball's been dropped. The referee says it's gone back. Wigan coming in hard, the gap's there, they turn it inside. And the throw, Edwards covering back. Can't take his man, that's great running by Northern. Eventually, they have to go down, but they came well down the middle. The referee 
Gives a penalty, and it's taken quickly. Robinson coming up to take Simpson, but it's another six tattles for uh, Northern. Wigan having to defend hard, taking its toll, take a lot out of them all, this defending, as these big forwards come past, and they've dropped it, and Wigan have it. Bell grateful to get that, Wigan will now probably bring it away. Running towards the touchline. Wigan gaining precious yards of ground. Dermot. Wide pass from Dermot. Spreads them wide open. Wigan going through. Couldn't get the... Were backed up. Couldn't get the pass in. Oh, and that's hard running. That's powerful prop play. Edwards surging forward, Wigan taking them on. Slipped by Cowie very nicely onto Edwards. Edwards turning it back down the middle. Wigan ducking under the tattles, keeping the support going. Ball's high in the air. Line Nuazi going for the line, coming inside, fighting his way forward. Five tattles gone, says the referee. On to Edwards. Edwards, a long pass. And the referee giving an obstruction. Going through without the ball. Bit of relief there for Northern. About 15 minutes of the game left. Clock is on 63 minutes, so we've uh, 17 minutes still to go. Northern on their own 20 metre line, forward still playing it hard. Wigan pushing them laterally, pushing them across the field. No ground being gained at the moment as Wigan come up. They're being pushed away, but they're quite happy to move Northern. Northern not gaining any ground at all there. Handing it on, Wigan coming in to smother them, making sure the ball isn't slipped. And we're still just outside the northern 20 metre line. Fox handing it on, wide pass, turning them back inside, Wigan funneling them back in. Five tattles gone, hardly an inch of ground being gained, but it's lined up for Hobbs. Hobbs takes the kick. Hampson going across for it, takes it well, Hampson running it out, coming in field. Wigan still keeping it going, on to Cowie. Wigan playing good football now, rampaging football, still on the feet, looking to keep it moving. Edwards, and that was great play by Wigan, well set up by Hampson from the full-back position, and he's up there again. Going through him, kind of moving from acting half back. Wigan driving hard and straight. Wigan on top at the moment as Hampson moves it inside. Cowie can't get rid of the ball. Wigan coming out to the right, short pass. Bad pass for Robinson. Can't keep it in play. He's at loose forward, isn't he? Bell, Bell is at loose forward at the moment for Wigan. We have Joe Lydon at right centre. Ball shoots out of the pack. Edwards is up there quickly to hang on to his man. He came round the pack like grease lightning. Wigan coming on to the acting half pack, holding them right on the try line. Looking a bit frustrated, our Bradford. They've dropped the ball. That should be Wigan's. What's he going to give? He's going to give the scrum, I wonder who's going to get the put in. Edwards has the ball. 
The referee wants him exactly on the spot where he said it happened. Ford's on the job, it's out to Wigan. Edwards to Bell, who's broken away. Bell holding it, Bell trying to crash his way through. Bell having gone to loose forward. Wigan holding it, changing direction, back into the pack. Little kick through at the play of the ball. Referee not happy with what was going on at the play of the ball. And Summers is coming back on the field, and it looks as if Wigan could well have a penalty right underneath the post. Referee reading a long riot attack, didn't like what was going on at the play of the ball. And it looks as if more substitutions are going to be taken, taking place on the Bradford side. Fox, Fox and Hobbs going off, that must be a blow for Bradford. And Botica, an easy kick to take, 13 points to two in front. The northern defence has stuck the task very well, but uh, Wigan been giving him a bit of a run around in this second half. And it looks as if Wigan could be well on the way to another Grand Slam Lancashire Cup on the sideboard. 13 points to two in this, the Regal Trophy final. A hard programme ahead of them. Three matches behind the St. Helens, which have to be played and fitted in somehow. And the sevens, Bottica comes up, stabs at it. And it's there, 15 points to two. And that leaves Bradford with an almost impossible task. As Wigan once more in possession. Hampson running wide, straightens up, going down the middle, looking for support. Getting away from the touchline, brings the ball back inside. Botica, feet go from under him. The Wigan forwards playing right on top at the moment. Playing it very sound way. No risk being taken, nothing fancy. Bell flicks it out. Wigan surging down onto Robinson. Robinson puts a kick in, Leiden's there chasing it. Watson takes it and he goes over the, into the in-goal area. Joe Leiden following that uh, intelligent kick of Robinson's. And so Northern are going to have to drop out. Wigan with a chance of a... Another six tattles in the attack. <laughs> Billy McGinty coming over to the play of the ball, having a run from Maxin half back. Feet are tapped from underneath him. Edwards waiting at first pass. Dermot gives it to Edwards. Edwards handing it on. We can turn it back inside. Wigan now using the strength and the power. A go down five yards out. This is the time when good teams hammer it home. Betts trying to get over from close to the line. Wigan right on the northern line now. Not too easy from there. Moving it out well. And finding it out to crack over. Wigan stretching it now. Little grubber kick is in. And it's touching goal, so we're back to the 
20 meter line Northern ready to take it quickly getting the game moving and it's been dropped and knocked forward Wigan have the possession made a mess of it there on their own 20 meter line from the tap out and their hearts must be sinking as Wigan now showing the class and their ability, well organised team the singing starting round the ground, Wigan spectators happy, another cup in the bag as a long pass goes out Wigan still keeping the ball moving Cowie taking it over the, over the, into the 20 meter and it's all the players down at this end and the referee says he dropped it so it will be Northern to feed balls out to Northern Hampson coming up into the defence, joining in along with Botica. And Northern really been pinned down in this second half. Couple of sporadic breaks, but apart from that, they've never really hammered at the Wigan line for any length of time. Wigan defence have been well organised and played well together. Knowing what they were doing as Powell, who's had a good hard game right in the middle of the field Northern keeping it alive five tattles gone for Northern kick through is charged down, ball's loose on the ground the referee gonna wave it on I think Wigan really had a chance of getting possession then Bounced off a Wigan player, but uh, John Oldsworth, Powell, proving a real handful as Northern make one of the rare incursions into the Wigan territory. And the Wigan defence pushing Northern back. And the ball's been dropped, probably tired and creeping in now. They've had to do an awful lot of hard grafting out there. Wigan coming through from the play of the ball. Wigan group tightly round the rock, all very close together, group very tightly. I'm going to be black and blue tomorrow, some of these lads referee going over to see what's happening in the tattle. Touch judges on. Play carries on, touch judge goes back to his line. Wigan taking it over the halfway line. The referee having to stand right on top of the players, seeing what's happening. Afraid that tempers might rise in the last few minutes. Edwards kicking behind the defence. Watson coming across for it, takes it well, Robinson has him, nails him as he takes the ball. Simpson running crossfield. And the man of the match has been named, Sean Edwards, who's been in everything, got a vital try, has been named man of the match. Five minutes to go. 15-2 to Wigan as Northern stick at it trying to get a try on the board and uh, I'm sure that this great Wigan cup fighting team will not want them to even to get a try Northern setting themselves up ready for the kick out it goes there's a high one into the Wigan 25 Wigan happy to die with it in possession
Wigan playing the timeout in this final. Playing it safe. Ball tucked up the jumpers. And these Wigan pack have really played well against a huge northern set of forwards. Dermot, who's had a really good game, a good footballing game. Wigan, five tassels gone, bring it up almost up to the halfway line. Flung back for the kick to Joe Lydon. Joe Lydon belts it down the field, over to the far corner. Watson going across, it's Watson who and he really has had a magnificent game, but this time there's no way through for him. Wigan coming in hard, playing it right till the very last second. The second half not been all that spectacular. And here comes the gap and Wigan hanging on to them. Trying to keep the line intact as once again they come surging for. Northern now coming hard at the Wigan line in these last minutes, keeping the ball moving, going for the line, turning inside, and they've scored. Northern are over. Pride, a certain amount of pride has been sold. McGowan, just reward for McGowan, goes over underneath the post. 15 points to six. Well, Northern have stuck at it. They've really given their all. Right in the very last minute of normal time. Well, it looked as if Wigan were going to keep that line safe and solid. Northern, who've made some good clean breaks this afternoon, made that one pay off, and McGowan put the ball down in between the posts, leaving an easy kick. 15 points to six. Northern supporters getting behind them, appreciating the efforts this afternoon. And that's over in the middle. Eight points to Northern, 15 to Wigan. Been a hard, tough game under appalling conditions. With a tremendous amount of rain, a gale force wind blowing, bitterly cold. 79 minutes on the clock as Wigan prepare to kick off. Well, both halves gone very much the same way that uh, Northern scoring right on the last uh, minute of the normal times. Scored right on half time, scored again as this game comes to its end. Northern still driving forward and Wigan pushing them back. Along the 20 metre line, good passing. Wigan locking their arms, can't get the ball out. Wigan, of course, have played without Philip Clark for most of this game. Injured early doors, kick through, comes to Wigan, gives them possession back. Wigan, there goes the hooter for the end of this final. Another cup on the sideboard for Wigan. Wigan were the winners, but they didn't find it easy. Wigan, 15, Northern 8. Robinson getting the first try after 37 minutes, which was goal by Botica. And then right on the stroke of half-time, Hobbs pulled back a penalty goal. Wigan having opened the mouths. Early on in the second half, Edwards with a long arm managed to get the ball down. Once again, it was Botica who scored. Hampson put the nail in the coffin, really, with, with a drop goal. That was a decisive kick, a good penalty goal from Botic. 
League champions, Premiership champions, Challenge Cup winners, and last season's world champions. A tremendous record this side has had under John Mooney. John's last season with Wigan. One wonders if he can pull off a miracle again and take all of these trophies. And I said at the beginning of the game, the, the rugby world is waiting to see if anyone can wrest all these trophies away from Wigan, but they're finding it very, very hard. Northern put up a tremendous effort this afternoon, but it was Wigan. Uh, I would imagine that Prano Botica, a very proud man, not been playing very long, now has a full set of medals and it must be a little bit frustrating for someone like Fox who's played so long and still not got a winner's medal to show for it. Wigan having lost Clark on the fire this afternoon, stuck to the task well. Territorially they had 90% of the game but they They found it hard to get the points on the board as Bradford defended well, but uh, Wigan so well organised, so experienced in the big game. Turnout worthy winners now. Let's see, Wigan team to salute the loyal spectators, a tremendous set of spectators of Wigan won, the bigger gates than anybody else, turn up at all these matches.